let's have a quick discussion about place value and how it relates to what we're doing in different bases. So you know in our base 10 number system or decimal notation system that we have the decimal place and then we have values that go both directions forever. Okay? And so we would call this the ones place, the tens place, the hundreds place, and that would keep going in to the left. This would be one tenth, one one hundredth, one one thousandth, and that would keep going in that direction. Now, our students at the elementary level wouldn't think like this, but for you to see where it's going, these could also be place values to uh, exponents, 10 to the first, 10 to the second, 10 to the third, and so on. We have 10 to the zero, which is the ones place, 10 to the negative one, 10 to the negative two, and 10 to the negative three. So for example, if I had the number 329, that means I have three times 100 plus two times 10 plus nine. And now it's broken up by its, I guess you'd say by its denomination. Well, the same thing happens in different bases, okay? Notice in these spaces, I can only put the digits 0 through 9. That's because I'm in base 10. So let's look at base 3. Base 3, we're not going to worry about the decimals anymore. We're going to look over here and we're going to say, well, it follows the same pattern. This is still the 1s. This is the 3s. This is the 9s, and this is the 27th place. And it can keep going forever in both directions. So this is 3 to the 0. The 3 is 3 to the 1st. The 9 is 3 squared. And the 27 is 3 cubed. So for example, if I had the number 1, 2, 1 in base 3, that's the same as having 1, 9, plus two threes plus one one. So that's nine plus six plus one is 16. Okay, so that's what each of those places represents. So let's take a number. Let's say we have the number 37. And this is in base 10. This is our number system. And we want to convert that to base three. Okay, so I ask myself, well, I have 1s, 3s, 9, 27. So notice to get to the next one, I multiply by 3. To get to the next place value, I multiply by 3. Just like in our number system, we multiply by 10. So this is 81. So then I ask myself, what's the largest power of 3 that goes into my 37? Okay. Well, it's 27, and I can only have one of those, okay? So now off to the side here, I'm going to take 37 minus 27, which is 10. Now I look at my remaining places. Can I put a 9 into that 10? Sure. Subtract again, and I have 1. So no 3s and 1, 1. So 37 in our notation is the same thing as 1101 base 3. Okay, let's try one more. Let's tr say we have the number 76. Um, let's, I'm going to change that. Let's go 76. Okay, so I'm just going to put my place values again. So I have 1, 3, 9, 27, 81. All right. 81 is too big, so I'm not going to use that. I know I can fit 127 in there. Can I fit another 27 in there? Sure. 27 times 2 is 54, so I have two of those. 76 minus 54 is 22. So now I can't fit any more 27s in there. Can I fit 9 in there? Sure. And it will go in there two times. So I have 18. Subtract that. And I get 3. No, 4. Sorry, 4. 
So now I have 1, 3, and 1, 1. So 76 in our number system is equivalent to 2, 2, 1, 1, base 3.